Ashtanga, Ashtanga remix. Do, 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 do. Okay, we're gonna start standing on our mats. I did attach a playlist to this one. So all you're gonna do is you're gonna stand at the top of your mat. We're done with the soles of your feet. Let your eyes shift and set and press play. Take a moment just to notice the way your feet ground down into the mat, all four corners. Let those sensations roll up to the very crown of your head and settle into them. Maybe you notice a gentle sway in your body. An energetic tingling in the soles of your feet or the palms of your hands. A natural inclination to draw the chin under so the crown of your head opens up towards the ceiling and the sky. Allow your attention to shift into your breathing if it hasn't done so. Focusing on your upper lip, the cupid's bow, the small dip. And watching the way your breath pulls in and out that space. And to breathe a little deeper. Inhaling, filling up. Exhaling, releasing out. Start again. Constrict to the back of your throat, Ujjayi breath. Audible so you can feel it and hear it. Let your navel tuck in and up towards your spine. Uriyana Bandha, root down to the soles of your feet, Padabandha. Engage through your pelvic floor like it's a spider web being pulled up to the center line. Lifting up through the Uriyana Bandha and all the way up to the crown of your head. Mulava. Inhaling, reach your arms all the way up. If your eyes want to open, they can lengthen towards the ceiling. Exhale, side stretch over to the right, however you need to take it. Looking for a nice deep stretch to the left side of your body. Inhale, lift up to center. Navel stays tucked in and out. Exhale, sway over to the left, stretching through the right. Inhale, lift up and lengthen. Exhale, forward fold all the way down. Try to hinge from the hip, navel tucks in. Knee inhale, take a half lift. Shoulders roll back and away from the ears. Exhale, release your hands down onto the mat and step your feet back. Plank position, navel tucked in and up, knees down and lifted. Lower down, half foot. Inhale, lift back up. Again, knees down or lifted. Exhale, lower down, chaturanga. Inhale, lift up through your heart. Upward facing dog. Curl your toes under, exhale, downward facing dog. Maybe pedal through your feet a few times once you get here. Inhale, lift up onto the tips of your toes. Exhale, walk step or hop. Feet come up to the front of the mat. Inhale, take a half lift. Exhale, forward fold all the way down. Inhale, reach your arms up and over your head. Exhale, hands down over your heart. Starting again, inhale, lift. Exhale, sway over to the right. Inhale, reach. Exhale to the left. Inhale, lift up, look up. Exhale, forward, fold down. 
Inhale, halfway. Exhale, hands down, step it back, high to low. Inhale, back up into high. Exhale, low. Inhale, lift your heart. Toes curl under, exhale, hips rise, down dog. Take a few breaths. Step or hop up to the front. Inhale, half up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, reach up, palms together. Exhale, hands down over your heart. Inhale, lift. Exhale, side stretch. Inhale, lift. Exhale, opposite side. Inhale, reach up and back. Exhale, forward fold. Halfway. Exhale, hands down. We've got two chaturangas. Heart lifts up. Hips rise up. Step up to the front of the mat. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale, reach. Hands over your heart. Lift. Side stretches. Lift and lean. Forward fold. Halfway. Palms down. Step it back. Two chaps. Heart lifts up. Hips rise. We're going to add on right there. Exhale, you're going to step your right knee. Let it slide down your right arm. Right toes towards the left wrist. Pigeon pose. Inhale, lift your heart. Stretch as you press down to the right hip. Exhale, fold forward. Moving into a side plank, you're going to press into your left hand. Curl the back toes under. Inhale, draw the right foot towards the left leg. Lift up through your right arm. Exhale, step your right foot up to the front of the mat. Left heel spirals down, warrior one. Inhale, reach your arms up, press down through your back heel. Exhale, release your hands down to the mat. Step back, high to low. Heart lifts up, hips rise. Left knee comes forward at the bottom of your exhale. Inhale, lift up your heart, arch your back. Exhale, fold. Side plank to the right, press into your right hand. Inhale, step the left foot back. You can always do this on the knee. Exhale, left foot to the front of the mat, warrior one. Right heel down. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, hands come down. Step it back, high to low. Heart lifts up. Hips rise. Couple of breaths. Step or hop your feet forward. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, bend your knees, lift your arms up. Exhale, palms together. Inhale, bend your knees, lift up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, palms down, step back, high to low. Two times. Front lifts, hips rise. Right knee forward, pigeon. Arch your back, fold. Press to the left on your inhale, side plank. Exhale, step your right foot forward. Inhale, warrior one, reach up, press through your back heel, left hip driving forward. Exhale, hands come down, step it back. Take your vinyasa. Left knee forward, arch your back, prepping for your pigeon. Exhale, down. Side plank to the right, right hand plants. Exhale, left foot forward. Inhale, lift up. Warrior one, knees up with your fingertips. Exhale, hands down. Couple of breaths in your down dog. Step up to the front of the mat. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, knees bend, chair pose, reach up. Exhale, stand, hands over your heart. Again, inhale, chair. Exhale, fold. Half lift, step it back, two push ups. Heart lifts, hips rise. Right knee forward. Inhale, prep for your pigeon. Exhale, fall. 
Left hand plank, inhale, side plank. Exhale, right foot forward, left heel down. Reach up, exhale, hands down, step it back. Left knee. Press down through your right hand, side plank. Exhale, left foot forward, right heel down. Inhale, reach. Exhale, hands down, take it back. High to low. Couple of breaths. Step it forward. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, bend your knees, lift your arms up. Exhale, stand. Again. Inhale, chair. Exhale, fold. Inhale, half. Step it back, two push-ups. Heart and hips. Right knee. Pigeon, side plank. Step it forward, warrior one, left heel down. Hands down. Left knee. Side plank. Left foot. Couple of breaths. Step or hop up to the front of the mat. Inhale, half lift, exhale, fold. This time, inhale, bend your knees, lift your arms up, hands behind your head. Exhale, right over the left knee. Inhale, center, exhale, opposite side, and just keep going side to side. Link your breath to your body. Engage through your abdominal muscles and into your obliques. And yes, I know those are the same things. Keep your knees bent. Lower belly engage. John. Move your behind. Inhale, big deep breath. Lift your arms all the way up and over your head. Exhale, draw your hands down over your heart and just take a few breaths here. Feeling impressive, your feet into the mat. The lifts are your bandhas, pada, mula, uddiyana, the beat of your heart. And try to consciously slow your breathing down. Keeping with your ujjayi, but maybe even counting, inhaling for a count of four. Three, two, one. Exhaling for a count of four. Three, two, one. Step or hop your feet, hip width apart. Hands come to your hips. Inhale, squeeze your shoulder blades together, lift your heart. Exhale, forward, fold down. These fingers to big toes. Inhale, half lift. Create some space between your shoulders and your ears. Bend your knees if you need to. Exhale, forward, fold. Tuck the navel in. Use your biceps. Head comes down. Inhale, half lift. Slip your hands underneath your feet. Try to take your wrists to your toes. On your next inhalation, lift up halfway, take your gaze forward, exhaling. If you want to shift your weight into your toes a bit as you forward fold, again, you're engaging through your biceps. Squeeze, stretching through your hamstrings, lower back.
In and out, take a half left. Exhale, release the hands, shift your hands to your waist, navel tucks up. Inhale, come all the way up. Exhale, step your feet together and step your hands together. Samastahiti, take another big full breath. Inhale, right foot steps back. Open your arms out wide. Turn the right toes to the right. Triangle pose. Inhale, lengthening through your right fingertips. Exhale, right hand comes down towards your big toes. Lift up through the left fingertips. Think about lifting up instead of down. Tuck the navel in. Turn your gaze up last. One more full breath. Inhale through your nose. Exhale, turn your gaze down. Inhale, you're going to swivel your hips. Lift both arms up, box your ears, bend a little bit into your front knee so that you're firmly planted, and step the back foot in. Straighten your front leg, still engaging through your core, reaching your arms forward. Exhale, release the left hand down. Think about drawing the right hip back and the left hip forward. Inhale, lift up through your right fingertips, revolve triangle. Exhale, look down. Inhale, we're going to come all the way up. Open up through your arms, switching sides. Left toes turn to the left. Readjust your feet as necessary. Exhale, reach and turn. Lift up through your right fingertips and turn into your breathing. Keeping your core engaged. Go ahead and inhale, pivot and turn your hips. Box your ears by reaching your arms forward. Bend a little bit into your front knee. Step the back foot in. Straighten the front leg out. Tuck your navel in and up towards your spine. Exhale, release the right hand down to the floor. Inhale, lift up for your left fingertips. Left hip is dragging back, right hip forward. Exhale, look down. Inhale, come all the way up. Exhale, step your feet together, turning towards the front of the mat. Inhale, step your right foot back, open up wider. Turn the right toes to face the back wall, bend into your right knee, exhaling right elbow down. Inhale, swing your left arm up and over. Continue to breathe. Now, if your preference is to bind here, the right arm can drive underneath the right leg and you can hold on to the left hand behind you. You could also bring one hand down to the floor, though traditionally it goes behind the right foot instead of in front. You may need to adjust in your feet. Let that happen. We're going to move into everybody's favorite bird of paradise. So go ahead and turn your head to look towards the right toes. Pivot your body so that your weight is shifting into the right foot and take a big step with your left foot up to the right. You're still bound through the hands and if that doesn't work for you, then please feel free instead to take that right arm around the outside of your right leg and loop it underneath the knee. So the hands coming in between your legs when you pick up, then you're hooking your right leg. You can open up your hip out. If you're bound, the right hand's going to the inside and wrapping around. So you're still hooking, but just in the opposite direction. On an inhale, you're going to lift up onto the very tips of your right toes, round down through your left foot, and then start to pick your body up. Find your balance by looking at something that's not moving. Think about drawing the right knee open like you would in a tree pose. And then on your next breath, if you want to play with it, you start to try to straighten your right leg. 
Now, again, if you're choosing to do the hooked version, right arm is to the outside. It's the same thing. You shift your weight to the left foot, you hook, draw the right knee open, and then you can play with straightening your right leg. On your next breath, inhale and draw the right foot down. Straight, the, reach the right foot back. Right into your warrior three. Whatever you need to do with your arms, do with your arms. One more full breath here. Exhale, feet together, forward fold. Inhale, lift all the way up. Exhale, hands over your heart. Root down into your right foot. Inhale, step your left foot back. Open up. Turn your left toes to the left wall. Exhale, bend into your left knee. Left elbow comes down, right arm reaches over. So you can stay here. You can bind. You can bring a hand down to the floor. Personal preference. Navel draws in and out. Knees turns up. Think about your top shoulder drawing back. Continue to breathe in and out of your nose. Exhale, look down. Shift your weight. Big step with your right foot to meet your left. Now you can move your arms if you want to hook from the outside. Weight shifts into your right foot. Inhale, let your left leg lift. Let the left knee draw out, and then try to straighten your left leg. Release the knee to bend, release the bind. On an inhale, stretch your left leg back, warrior three. Exhale, feet together, forward fold. Inhale, come all the way up, reach your arms up and over your head. Exhale, palms together. Inhale, step the right foot back, nice and open. Exhale, press your palms together. Pivot and turn so that your right knee bends, left heel stays down or lifts. Inhale, lift up through your heart. Exhale, hook your left elbow as far as you can over to the right. Turn into your breathing as you shift into your twist. Take your right hand, place it in front of your right foot. Inhale into your half moon. Start to stack your hips. Now play with the placement of your right hand. For me, it needs to be about a foot in front and then maybe almost six inches to the outside, like an L shape, almost like moving a horse piece on a chessboard. Last full breath. Exhaling, your left knee is gonna go to the inside of your right knee. Let it slide all the way down as you sit. Half more to the fishes, inhale, lift your left arm up. Exhale, left elbow to the outside of your right knee. You want it to bind here. Left hand's gonna go in, like around the right leg. You're gonna thread the left hand through the hole created by your right knee and then wrap your right arm around. One more full breath. Okay. 
Inhale, come back to center. Press into your right foot. Draw the left leg up as you exhale, standing split. Inhale, half lift, feet together. Exhale, hands to hips. Inhale, come all the way up, reach your arms up. Exhale, hands over your heart. Inhale, step the left foot back, nice and back. Open up through your arms. Exhale, press the palms together. Inhale, shift all 10 toes that you're facing the front of your back. Lunge into your left knee, and on your exhale, with your right elbow to the outside of that left knee. Breathe into your twist. Back to that little horsey rook player. You're going to take your left hand, draw it towards the L shape of your left foot, and lift your body up into your half moon, stacking your hips, navel tucks in, reaching north, south, east, west. On your next exhale, you'll slide your right knee down the back side of your left until you set. Inhale, lift your right hand up. Exhale, right elbow to the outside of your left knee. If you wanted the bind, you'll spread the right arm through. Clasp the left hand around. Inhaling, releasing back to the front. Press into your left foot, hands come down. Exhale, right foot lifts, standing in splits. Inhale, half lift, feet together, hands to hips. Exhale. Inhale, come all the way up, reach your arms up. Exhale, hands over your heart, big full breath. Inhale, bend your knees, lift your arms up. Chair pose, squeeze through your inner thighs. See, you're finding yourself braced, tuck your navel in. Maybe you find that your hips rock under a little. Create some space in your lower back. Shift your weight into your left foot, right ankle goes on top. Exhale, draw your hands behind you. Inhale, lift your heart. Flex through your right foot. Exhale, draw your chest down towards your thigh. Breathe. Inhale, we're going to come all the way up. Keep driving into the left foot. Right knee comes up. Exhale, take your left hand to the outside or the um, right shin or to the outside of your right foot. Dancing Shiva, stretch the right arm back, straighten your right leg up. Inhale, you're going to release. Exhale, step back, big open T. Inhale, open up through your heart. Exhale, forward fold. Hands come down to the floor. Adjust your feet as necessary. Inhale, lift up, engage your core. Exhale, fold. Last breath. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, hands to hips. Inhale, come all the way up. Open your arms out wide. Exhale, you're going to turn to face the back of the mat. Step the left foot up to meet the right. So, must be deep. Inhale, bend your knees. Lift your arms up. Turn into your breathing. Maybe your tailbone rocks under. Root down to your right foot. This time, taking the left foot up. Left ankle to your right knee. 
Reach your arms back on your exhale. Inhale, open up through your heart, squeeze your shoulder blades together. Exhale, chest towards your thighs. Inhale, drive into the right foot, lift the left knee up into your chest. Exhale, right hand comes to grab onto the outside of the shin or the outside of the foot. Inhale, straighten your leg if you're choosing to dance in Shiva. Inhale, release, bend the knee. Exhale, step it back. Inhale, open up nice big T. Exhale, peace fingers to big toes. Inhale, take a half left. Exhale, forward fold. Pull with your biceps, tight up front. Inhale, take a half left. Exhale, hands to hips. Inhale, come all the way up, turn towards the front of your mat. Exhale, Samasti Yipi. Inhale, lift your arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, press your palms into the mat. Step it back, high to low. Heart lifts up. Hips rise. Step or hop your feet in between your hands. Straighten your legs out. Inhale, lift your arms up. Exhale, forward fold. If you need to, adjust, rock. Back and forth on your sit bones. Peace fingers to big toes, hold the feet or thread it under. Inhale, half lift, shoulders roll back. Hinge from the hip. Inhale through your nose. Exhale, forward fold. Press through the calves and the hamstrings into the floor, toes back towards your head. Feel length from your tailbone up to the crown of your head. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, reach your hands behind you as you release your body. Inhale, lift your hips up, upward plank. You need to bend your knees, bend your knees. Inhale, lift high, exhale, release your hips down. Inhale, boat pose, lift your arms up and your legs up. Exhale, feet down, roll down onto your back. Hands come down to the floor, wheel or boat pose, your choice. You're taking a wheel, hands go down, hips lift. You're taking a bow pose, hands go back behind you, upward bow, upward wheel, whatever it's called. Press into your hands and your feet, lift your heart up. Inhale, big full breath. Exhale, lower it down. One vertebrae at a time in whichever position you're in. Inhale, draw your knees into your chest. Rock a little bit side to side. Moving into a happy baby. Open up through your knees. Catch the peace fingers to your big toes. Drive your knees towards your shoulders. Hamstrings lifted up towards the ceiling. You may even draw your tailbone down a bit. On your inhale, maybe you try to straighten your right leg. Be a little bit of a deeper stretch through the hamstring. 
and then bring it back. And then you can do the same thing on the opposite side of your room, out of the wall. Releasing your toes, cross your left leg over your right. Inhaling through your nose, exhale, let your knees fall to the right and your head towards the left. Try to keep the shoulders down. If you want a little bit of a deeper stretch, you can straighten your left leg. Try to catch the left toes in your right hand. Optionally, left hand can go to the right toes, trying to draw the right knee down. Turn your head. And Try to release your feet. And now come back up to center. Exhale, take your right knee over your left. Twist left. Top leg into your bottom hand. Same thing. You wanted to corkscrew to the bottom leg. Fully unwind, draw your hands back to center. Take a breath, shift a little bit. There's a finishing posture, go ahead and take it. Within the next 20 seconds or so, find your way into your version of Shavasana. Let your legs lengthen out, let your hands come down by your sides, get some space in between your shoulder blades. 
and return to your breath. It's a natural rhythm, the rise and fall of your chest or your belly, the tingle in your fingers and toes. Rest. Gently begin to wiggle your fingers and your toes. Stretch your arms up and over your head. Big stretch to opposite walls. And then on an exhale, roll over to one side. Give something you're grateful for right in this moment. Don't overthink it. Just whatever comes to mind first. Take a couple of breaths. Really feeling gratitude. Pressing your hands into the floor, into your mat, gently come up into a seated position. Sit however you feel most comfortable. Draw your hands over your heart and tuck your chin down into your chest. One last big full breath together, inhaling through your nose, filling your bottom to top. Exhale slowly, let it ease out. Thumbs up to your third eye. May your intuition always guide you. Thumbs to your lips. May you only speak the truth. Thumbs to your heart. May you love and be loved unconditionally. Back to your third eye. It is my honor to guide in your practice. Namaste. Peace.